Did you ever consider doing something else other than being a singer? When I was at school, I wanted to be a vet and a psychiatrist, but I didn't really, I didn't really want to be. That was just, I suppose, to keep people happy to think that if I did get a career, it would be a straight one. But it wasn't what I wanted to do at all. They must have been disappointed when you went off to sing. I don't think so, no. I think they thought I was a bit foolish, but um, I thought it was right. <laughs> Who do you first play it to? Either John Kelly, my engineer, or one of my brothers, and still my father, now and again. It's always got to be someone that I know their judgment is good, people I trust. And if they said it was rubbish? If they said it was rubbish, I'd think about it, but if I didn't think it was rubbish, then I'd, I'd still carry on with it. You have to believe in yourself. You can't just accept what other people say all the time, otherwise you become them and not yourself. Do you ever worry that your confidence might go? It goes, yes, it goes a lot. And you sit there and think, I shouldn't, you know, oh, where's my purpose, I'm nothing. And, and then something will happen that will just make you see that you're just a tiny little thing just trying to do your best and that's all you can do, so that's cool. Don't you have a problem now? What next, how you're going to follow the success? Well, you see, pe people say this to me and I don't really look at it that way because it's not a matter of following success. It's things have happened, you've done them in the past, and you see things wrong in them, and you want to go on and you want to do them right. And I, I think that's all it is, you know. It's just the desire to want to keep doing things better. And I don't really see it as following a great success, because if I did, I'd get really paranoid, and I probably wouldn't be able to do a thing. I'd be so worried about doing something better than that, whereas you're just in the present moment and you're doing what you're doing. Are you likely to change your style completely, suddenly? I don't know. I'd quite like to, in a way, because I think change is a very important thing um, on any level. And I, I do want to change, not only as a person, but uh, as a musician. And I, th I think it's starting to happen a little, just slightly different. And how she was when she was You suffered a fate uh, in the early goings of your career of being somewhat of a pinup girl in the uh, British pop mags. <laughs> How did you deal with that? Um, I think what worried me was that it was going to stop people taking my music seriously. I, I've always found it very complimentary if people said that they find me attractive. And my worry is really that it would get in the way of my music. It's not that um, I find that so much of a problem as, as that people wouldn't accept my music, but I don't think that that has been the problem. I think um, people do seem to accept my music for its sake. And uh, does your sexuality have a role in your, in your music? Well, I think that's something I find very confusing because I think the essence of all art is sensuality. And sexuality, I, I mean, I don't suppose I understand it fully, but I, I always tend to think that's something that's projected. And that sensuality is really where art is at. It's a, a much more subtle form of expression. The dance in it is just beautiful. I think it's one of the, the best videos I've ever seen that is able to, to get dance in it and, and show it off to its best advantage. Oh, it's really nice that you think that, because very much what we wanted to try and achieve was, um, was to make it a serious piece of dance, which I didn't feel I'd done up until that point. It was, I'd played around with dance, but in a very sort of theatrical way, and, and in some ways it was sort of saying goodbye to that dancing side of me um, by doing it, you know, in a very sort of pure way. It's very much a pure dance video without any theatre or anything attached. And because um, I, I feel very much a shift now from dance into film imagery. So they're two very different things. Not that dance couldn't still be incorporated, but, but it's not the same attitude. Anyone that has any kind of creative outlet is, is uneasy, and that's what makes them need to express themselves. I think, I think all human beings are uneasy on some level.
two parts of me, one that's a very social beast and the other side of me is probably very quiet and, and likes to work alone and in fact can't really work if there's more than a few people around. I think the studio has become that disciplined place that I can go to now. It used to be uh, my music room wherever I had the piano and um, I think it's helped me tremendously to actually have an environment where I can go to to work. It just makes it that much easier for me to concentrate. Kate Bush be like at 31? Any idea? I don't know, probably a few more lines. <laughs> I hope they're happy ones. And a few more songs? Yeah, I hope so. That's, that's what I want to do, that's what I'm here for. You're now just over 21 and you've made it. What is there left to do now? Everything, <laughs> yeah. I haven't really begun yet. I've begun on one level but then that's all gone now so you begin again.